Dick thing. Yeah. So Austin told you what she told her? Uh, like very briefly. Okay, so I'm gonna pull her. Yeah. After the veto, I already told her. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more going on than you think. Yeah. I'm gonna pull her after the veto. Yeah. Say, here's what happened all week. We go to talk to Ty and Jet about, first thing that happens, we go to talk to Ty and Jet about the vote. They tell us right away that you're trying to pin it all on us, mm -hmm. that you're blindsided. We say, no, 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 no. Um, she was HOH, her target went home. Of course, we still wanted Latoya to go home. Mm -hmm. Slept at that. Ty and Jed go to row before the veto. Tell them that they do not want to win this veto. They want one of us to win this veto, take it off, mm -hmm. and both of us to stay. Mm -hmm. Jed comes to me before veto, says he's gonna throw it to me. The only way that I stay is if it goes up, probably. Mm -hmm. Beth then comes to me, wants to work with me in Rohan, mm -hmm. and wants to set herself up because she only has Ty and Jed. Um, she's also gonna throw it, and that we need to get we need to get Vic up. That's the only way I stay. Mm -hmm. That's the only way any of us, either of us stay. Mm -hmm. That's what they tell us. Mm -hmm. um, Austin and Brandon talk to Keith. They realize it's between Austin and Vic. Use your brain, Vic. Obviously, she doesn't want to go up. Mm -hmm. So, what's she supposed to say? All mm -hmm. she says, she doesn't want to go up. Brain, mm -hmm. that's her number one. Roe, that's my number one. Mm -hmm. We're told it's either Austin or Vic. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So you're told, okay, so you're told by the boys that the only way that I, st I, I stay is if Vic goes yeah, up. Yeah, that's the plan. So we pitch Vic, obviously. Yeah. That's my, he's my number but one. We also need to downplay. Yeah, our pitch. Everybody's saying that we hard pitch Vic and we're in here, and like fucking like, hard pitching her. Yeah. Her name came out of my, my mouth once. Yeah. And it was like discussing options. Also, by the way, uh, apparently Tina and Tara came up to Kiefer and told him that we told them to go and hard pitch back. Fuck them. Hmm? Really? Yeah. That's why they're like all fucking shady about it and they're like, oh, like, yo, he never wants to talk games. It's like, how do you, do you guys ever have any game conversations or do you just talk personal with everybody? Whatever, just leave that now. Oh, you have to I can't, I can't say anything about it. At all, ever. No, because if they win, then I need them to knock up. You can't ever say anything. No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, like, fuck off, seriously. And then, uh, so I'm gonna say that, um, and then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say you'll have to talk about Ro, what exactly he said, I'm not sure, mm. but we were told that you were the only option for me. I went up here, I laid out every, I took myself out of it, I laid out every option that he had, mm -hmm. and just, it, in my head, I just made it seem to him, like, how it didn't make sense, mm -hmm. and how the one that made the most sense for him was you, only because I was told that is the only chance I had to stay. I tried to pitch the three that voted against him and mm -hmm. immediately got shut down. Yeah, I'm gonna say that too. So um, with the vote, with the Latoya vote, you're gonna tell Vic that the boys tried to pin it on her? Yeah. Sorry, that the boys I said, to say we the boys would said that you tried to pin it on all of us. That me and you were the reason it flipped. That's what she said. Oh, okay. And then are we gonna tell her about like the last minute thing with Latoya? No. Okay. Because I asked Austin and Brandon if they said anything like that and they didn't. Okay, all right, that's fine with me. Alright, thanks, bud. And then for my speech, what am I gonna say? So I'm gonna say. I don't know, but let's talk after. I gotta go shower yeah. and get ready because it's an hour. Yeah.